Okay, finally. Wow, I had to run my air filter for almost 15 minutes there. It does work rather well. I have shown people that unit numerous times. It works better than any of the other units I've ever purchased. We used to run one behind each screen when we had the 365s across here, but they were regular TVs. They were like two feet deep, you know what I mean? They were just a nightmare to have out here. The tables had to be three foot deep in order to support them. Ah, Grand Trismo. Well, I got my rig sitting here so I don't have to move anymore. It's easier to get to. All I have to do is rotate my TV around. So I'll get to play more. I just, you know, I, I, I guess... I guess they felt they had to make the game a game to 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 force this false belief on people that it was single player oriented. No, it's it's not. If you make the license, if you expand license tests, give us back the moon buggy. You know what I mean? If you put content in there that is driving oriented, make sure that we have lots of challenges, you know, uh, lots of championships, the, exactly the same way that, that sport was. You didn't have to change all this other cr crap that's just superfluous bullshit to make me think I'm having some kind of single person experience. The single person experience for me is when I have my hands on the wheel and I'm driving. To, to have Polyphony believe that what they did was develop a first person experience by having me do fucking fetch quests and race races that are incredibly easy and boring. Everyone, anyone who plays Gran Turismo at all knows that you can pretty much pick any car and kick their ass. It's not, it's not even, it's not even fucking close. <laughs> Ah. You know, we want the cars to sound good. If you have a cockpit view, we want it to look good. We want the tracks to look good. We want the physics to be good. We don't need a fucking cafe. The whole... The, and instead of giving us more, we got less. Oh, well, look, well, you can buy, you can individually buy headers now. So, you know, I, I'm, I, I doubt if I'll ever use your fucking garage shit. Once I get the cars I want, that'll be it. I'll never be back. You're forcing me to do something that is not fun. There's probably 20 cars in that game that I'll end up using the entire service time, service length of this game. And I just got, I don't know, 20 cars into my garage that I don't want. Oh, well, you can't sell the gift cars. Okay, well, I just have to fucking throw them away then. Because I don't want them cluttering up my absolutely horrible looking list of cars. The way they have them separated, just... Just fucking tragic. And they lied to us right from the beginning. It was not a PlayStation 5 exclusive game. It wasn't. They, they, they downgraded the game so it would play on a regular old PS4 Slim. That's not what they told us when we waited years for this fucking game. That's not what they told us we were going to get. And that's what we got. And then instead of having content that's race-oriented, it's all this other superfluous bullshit. I like having one button buy everything. Please don't make me go in and go buy this, 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 buy this. And then back out, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. Oh, well, I want to change car. Button push, button push, button push, button push, button push, button push. Get into the garage, change car. Go back to the game. Button push, button push, button push. I mean, it's just fucking insane. It's not, it's not fun. I hate fucking button mashing, especially when I'm playing on my wheel. 
That's why I always have my controller sitting there on a table. Ah, <sighs> you know, it's, you see, I hate to see something good destroyed senselessly out of fucking ignorance and stupidity. It reminds me of Southwest Airlines when I think of polyphony. A single person experience is not forcing people to do things they don't want to do. You want to qualify me? Qualify me. You want me to do, you know, do all these championships? I'll do all the championships. You want me to do track familiarity? I'll do all the all of those and I'll have fun doing it. Okay? Make me talk to some fucking guy. Button, push, button, push, button. I'm just mashing buttons just to shut the guy up. I just want to move on with the game. Okay? Please, can I just skip this part? Can I just just use this and just throw this part of the fucking game away? No, they don't allow you to do that either because you can't have all the tracks. They force you to play this fucking scenario that they call a game, a single person experience. It's not a single person experience. Make the car sound better. Make the track and everything look better. That's what you do for us. You want to make Gran Turismo good? Just fucking give us the cars, give us the tracks right out of the gate. Okay? Uh, quit with your fucking microtransaction bullshit and this whole fetch quest thing that you're doing. Just, just stop it. Okay? That's not why I bought Gran Turismo. So, as it is right now, I prefer playing Gran Turismo Sport. Five doesn't look any better. It doesn't play any better. When I get in there and I get to get on a track, it looks exactly the same as my PS4 Pro. Exactly the same. The controller is way smoother on my 5. I love my PlayStation 5, but that's not polyphony. Okay? It's a Sony exclusive, but Sony's not polyphony. Polyphony is the one with Sony that decided to come up with this mess that they... Trying to convince us is a single person experience. They lied right out of the gate. Okay, baby. Okay. They lied to us right out of the gate. And as soon as I started playing the game, and then, you know, I have a friend that comes over and plays. I have relatives that come over and play. And they all say the same thing. Why do I have to do this? I said, well... You know, because they, they're trying to give you a first-person experience. I'm like, you want to do license tests? He couldn't even do fucking license tests. They have him force him to drive to music and then force him to drive to this and then force him to do this, <laughs> then force him to do that. And he, he just wants to go get license, get his licenses. And so for him, it was a, a, just a terrible First Gran Turismo experience, not having played Gran Turismo before. His first experience of Gran Turismo sucked. So then I pulled out uh, uh, Gran Turismo 7 and I put in Gran Turismo Sport and said, where, where do you want to race? What do you want to race? Do you want to do track experience? You want to do, and that's what he did. He went straight into licensing and started trying to beat the times that were in there. So they don't know what we want, evidently. They thought that this was going to make a new game. Fucking Gran Turismo's Gran Turismo. Unless you're going to make the physics better, which they do minor little tweaks and adjustments, okay? Um, you know, when, you're, when, you're, when you step on the brake and it feels like there's nothing, have you experienced that? You put on the brake and there's literally zero slowdown. Zero. And then all of a sudden, oh, now it's like the brakes have come on. That's shitty fucking programming. Also, we have the, the infamous, now I've been waiting for it, and it showed up in my last race. The infamous last lap, not the same fucking car scenario. Where you've run eight laps, and then on the ninth lap, all of a sudden, your car doesn't stop the way it did. It doesn't turn the way it did. There's no tire degradation or anything on. It's just they're trying to catch you out. All of a sudden, you fucking ass into your car sliding around. That they were, they've been, they have been fucking notorious for that. 
I've made so many videos about fake difficulty being in Gran Turismo, all of the series, okay? I was doing this video for Gran Turismo 5 when they kept delaying us year after year after year, and then they finally gave, fucked us with Prologue because too many people were moving to Forza. They didn't do that because they wanted to give us something. They gave us a piece of the game that they were building and then they took all our money away, took all of our cars away, didn't give us any credit for playing that, and came out with a gigantic microtransaction, you know, screw job. So, you know, it's they're they're fortunate they're in the position they're in. That there are no other fun games out there. Um a set of Corso. I don't their physics are not up to snuff. They're not up to par. They looks of the game, not up to par. Sorry, it's not. There are no rally games out there right now that feel good other than a game that's now going on seven years old that is still better than any other game out there. Period. I will put Gran Turismo Dirt, the original rally, Dirt Rally game, against any game they've produced so far. When I got into Dirt Rally 2, I was so shocked at how bad the game played. I pre-ordered the, the game. I thought, oh, fuck, this is going to be incredible. It was so bad. I mean, I was literally in shock. I was like, what, what the fuck happened? Did they sell this to another company? Because that's what they did with us with Off-Road Fury. Remember, it was a free-roaming game, and then the next game to come out, everyone was all fucking excited, and nope, you can't go off the road. Well, how can you call a game Off-Road Fury when you can no longer go off the road? Because they had sold that game to another company that then fucked us with a non-game. And, and Dirt Rally 2 was so bad, I thought, oh, surely you can't be telling me this is how the cars are going to drive. Literally like I had 80 dead fucking mobsters riding in the back of a station wagon when I'm driving a Porsche. The ass end felt so, everything was so slow and clunky. It's the same thing with bikes. The TT challenge, okay? Well, you know, I have news for you. When I can't get my bike to turn and it's like, what the fuck is this? I've been racing my whole life. Motorcycles don't feel like this. Motorcycles do not feel like this. Motorcycles do not turn like this, okay? And uh, I heard they spent all that time, effort, money on a fucking game that someone who's been riding his whole life thinks is just fucking horrible. Where were your motorcycle racers? Where were your professionals when you were building this game where you said, okay, here, try this out. Uh, uh, oh, can't make the turn, can't make the turn. What? I know. Getting a simulation to run on a machine to give you that feeling through that controller with the haptic feedback, that's one of the hardest things to do in gaming. It's why I stick with Gran Turismo all this time is because iRacing and Gran Turismo, they're the only two games that I've played that I thought even came close to giving you a driving experience. And everyone knows we all wait patiently, then the game is delayed a year, then we wait patiently, then they lie to us, then we wait patiently, okay? And that's just been the scenario with Polyphony since the game came out. Ray tracing. Oh, well, it works on replays. Wait a minute. I thought, see, we were supposed to have ray tracing in-game. Well, we had to make it playable on the PlayStation 4 because we couldn't sell enough fucking PlayStation 5s. So Polyphony and Sony got together and fucked us. <laughs> oh, man. You know, all it took was two laps at Trial Mountain and I felt better. Just let me drive. I come over here. It, I'm, I'm in really bad pain to sit in my rig and use it because it takes 90 pounds to get the brakes to lock up, to get the tires to lock up. So you're pushing yourself into the seat, basically, just like you would be in a race car. It, you're not lightly pushing on the brakes. It takes some force. Maybe if I didn't have such a, a, an extensive racing background in bikes and cars, I'd be easier to please. And I imagine there's a lot of people out there that 
think that this Gran Turismo they've come up with is just the neatest thing in the fucking world. I'm sure there are people out there that just love this whole menu book, whatever the fuck it is, cafe thing. I'm sure they just eat it up, okay? But that is not a race simulator game. I don't want a fucking car collecting game. I do not want a car collection game. Please fucking get that through your head polyphony. I do not want a car collection game that the next Grand Trace when it comes out, you're going to take all of those cars and say, oh, well, guess what? Uh, it's fuck. They're all worth nothing. Oh, well, you can do these two races in the game unsupported and that's it. And I don't know even know if we can do that. When they quit supporting uh, Gran Turismo Sport, I don't know that we'll be able to play any parts of the game. That there's even enough on the disc. I think there's only like 750 megabytes or something. That there's so little on the disc that, th that there won't even be anything to play. So why? If you're going to let me keep those cars and move them into Gran Turismo 8? Is that what you're going to let me do? Because then I would be interested in a car collection game. Because I'd be collecting cars over the life of my Gran Turismo fucking giving you money every game. I'd say, okay, yeah, here's my here's the cars that I've won and that I want to keep. But you don't let us do that because you want to microtransaction our ass to death. So, polyphony, okay? Better tracks, better, better sound, better, better physics. That's what we care about. We don't need a thousand cars. It just made me so, I was just blown away. Well, 800 cars, there's 800 cars. What do you mean there's eight, 800 cars? There's not fucking 800 cars. And you can't tell me that a track going backwards is a, it, you can count it as a, another track. Oh, well, we've got six tracks. No, you have three tracks with three of them running backwards. You can't count those as tracks. <laughs> Remember the old Grand Turismo? You could just run it forward or reverse. You could take your pick. Yeah, it's just not headed in the right direction. I, I think it's just not headed in the right direction. I don't know, were they trying to sell more to non-Gran Turismo players instead of the hardcore people like me? Were they just trying to just push it off on the every, a mom and pop kind of fucking game? I don't know. I don't know. I think it was all foobar as soon as they said oh, it's going to play on PlayStation 4 Slim. I knew that we were screwed and that we weren't going to get the game we thought we were going to get. It's not going to look like we thought it was going to look. It's not going to sound like we thought it was going to sound. And it's not going to play like we thought it was going to play. And we'll just put in all this fuller shit and fillers with, you know, you have to do this and this and this in cars that you don't want in a race that you can. The first lap, you're in first place. It's a three lap race. You're in first place the first lap. And now what do you do? Oh, very exciting. 